Hi, this is Dr. William Rosenblatt. I'm here in my uh, office and recording studio at the Smilo Cancer Hospital at Yale New Haven Hospital. As you can see, I'm on the COVID intubation team today. I've got my PPE ready. In fact, I might get called away any moment, so I apologize if I have to leave you. But I wanted to show you a simulation I did yesterday. As some of you may know from my postings, I've been very concerned about the uh, ad adoption of intubation boxes that came out of um, China uh, as an idea to protect the operator during intubation. And my concern is that the simulations you see and they talk about it uh, works fine if the intubation is successful with the first attempt. But if you have a difficult intubation or a difficult airway, that is where I'm really concerned about these boxes compromising your ability to take care of the patient. Apart from that, I'm worried that the boxes will discourage people from seeking out the best PPE they can get, giving them a false sense of security regarding the, uh, the safety of the boxes, and also the boxes may compromise uh, PPE and, as I alluded to, compromise your ability to not only work within the box, but also have an assistant help you. So in this simulation I did yesterday, we did a standardized uh, difficult airway with and without the intubation box. Now, I had a surprising finding, and that is that the amount of time that the operator has an assistant with hands on the patient or the patient airway was indeed, I feel, compromised by the intubation box. And the first simulation without the box, the assistant has hands on the airway for 36 seconds. And in the second identical simulation, the assistant has hands on the airway or the mannequin for only eight seconds. And in fact, the attending physician on the second simulation with the box told me she didn't realize how hard it would be to assist the resident who was doing the intubation. Now, there are some aspects of the uh, resuscitation, the airway resuscitation you may not agree with. Um, I want you to put that aside for the moment and just focus on the ability of the operators to work within the confines of uh, the box. Okay. Enjoy the video. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, please be safe. Again, look for the best PPE you can get, and maybe someday when we validate these boxes, they will be the thing to use. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me at will.rosenblatt at yale.edu or questions at airwayondemand.com. And if you have any other questions, including what this big X on the wall is about, again, feel free to contact me. Thank you.
Thank you.